Stage four of the Tour of Britain, starting in a red car and finishing 150 kilometers later in the Helmsley, entirely through beautiful Yorkshire. As you can see, an intermediate sprint at Whitby, two climbs at Robin Hood Bay and Egton Bank, then Stokesley, and then Carlton Bank, the final climb of the day before dropping down into beautiful Helmsley. We had a new race leader as well, the red jersey on the shoulders of Canadian Ben Perry of the WIV Sun God team. I had a very aggressive start and it took around 35 kilometers for the elastic to finally snap. And it was Harry Burchill in the black there off St. Pirin. He was joined by Magnus Sheffield, the young American from the Ineos Grenadiers. And the two riders together built up a healthy lead, approaching the first significant climb of the day of Robin Hood's Bay. Meanwhile behind, several other teams wanted a piece of the action, including the ever-present Nils Pollitt. Meanwhile behind, Yorkshireman Tom Pidcock, the Olympic mountain bike champion, took to the front. A sharp, crisp acceleration took him clear over the top with Tom Glogue and also Mike Woods, but it was not to be. That breakaway did not stick, although it did take half a minute off the two riders out in front. And then heading to the second climb of the day, with that breakaway still one minute up the road, it was the Uno X team who led from the bottom and set an infernal pace, splitting the field asunder and in the process catching our two leaders. It was at one point the whole team clear. They eventually dragged around 25 riders clear, but there was a real distinct lack of cohesion. Sam Watson there questioning the situation. Jake Stewart also in the mix as well. Eventually, the group behind did catch the peloton and with just about an hour of racing, it was Grupo Compacto and the peloton was back together, being led by Andre Amador of the Ineos Grenadiers. This took us into the final climb of the day. It was a little bit of a muted affair before Ineos Grenadiers took it up again. Omar Freile, the former Spanish road champion, lighting things up on the lower slopes of Carlton Bank. And with the company again was Tom Pidcock, the Yorkshireman desperate to try and break away. And the elastic on this occasion did snap. He took with him young Oscar Onley of Team DSM and also Flesh Wallon winner Dylan Tjerns of Israel Premier Tech. The three riders crested the top of the final categorised King of the Mountains of the day with around a 15 seconds lead and they were to build that up to around 40 seconds. The chase meanwhile being led by a small group containing riders from Trinity who were trying to bring back the gap. But with 20 seconds, the trio out in front were working exceptionally well and it was looking dangerous. Although then, we did have a little bit more cohesion behind. GB combined with Team DSM and eventually with just under 10 kilometers to go under the impetus primarily of Jake Stewart and Movistar, it was all back together, heading to the final hotspot sprint of the day with three valuable time seconds on offer. Dylan Tjerns led up that climb. Gonzalo Serrano actually taking the time bonus. Dylan Tjerns again there and Tom Pidcock, four leaders including Omar Freele, went over the top, dropping towards the finish in Duncan Park with a 14-second lead. A lot of the driving being done by Omar Freele, sacrificing himself for the Yorkshireman Tom Pickock, sat here in last wheel. And just coming in to the finishing straight, it was indeed Freele who opened things up, hoping for victory from Tom Pickock, but it was the man in blue. Gonzalo Sardano opened things up, and it was a very mighty sprint by the Spaniard. There was a last gasp effort by Tom Pidcock to try and come by him, but in the end, it was the man from Movistar who took the win. Serrano first, Tom Pidcock in second place, Dylan Jones in third, Fraley fourth. And taking the bunch sprint there was Pashkins of Bingal. Delight all round for Movistar, not only the stage win, but the race lead as well. And the biggest victory of this man's career. And look at what it meant to him. So, Sarano took the stage ahead of Tom Pidcock, turns for Ile Pashkins, Watson, Van Roy, Battalion, Jack Rootkin Gray, and Corbin Strong, rounding out the top 10. But we had a new race leader. The man from Movistar now ahead of the rankings, halfway through the race ahead of Fraile, Pidcock, Perry, Turn, Strong, Passion, Stewart, Sheffield, and Kenneth Van Roy rounding out your top 10.
stage five of the Tour of Britain takes us from West Bridgeford to Mansfield. A third category climb at the start in Keyworth and then one near the end, but it should be one potentially for the sprinters.